Hey everybody, Will White here, Pike Antler Project, and Caleb Plot. Cool. Caleb's gonna kind of see what he can muster up after a minute of ten, six, eight hours of of uh, training and practice. So, for all you people that provided support and helped this come true, Caleb's gonna we're gonna show you what uh, you invested in and see what Caleb retains from today. Well, first thing we did is went to the range and barrel sighted a few guns. Um, poor poor. Cool, cool. I bore sighted a few guns and um, made sure that was all set and then we specified it by putting it back together and making sure the right amount of clicks or the right amount of inches of where you want the gun to be. So if I'm aiming for the center and I'm inch off the right, check the scope's clicks, click at the right amount of measurements to the left. We didn't go over this, that's MOA. That's MOA. That's called minutes of angle. Okay. okay. MOA and then, um, well, we're going to just side it in most of the day. A lot of sighting in. Sighted in four? Four guns. Four guns, yep. Yeah. Um, just a lot of practice and getting ready for hunting, make sure I can sight things in. Yeah. So, you know, the theory is one, it's just a good skill to have. And, you know, we're hunting, he trips and falls, knocks his scope off, or just knocks it out of whack. If I'm not around, you know, he can now go find somewhere to shoot and realign it and resight it himself. And what I learned today. Um, I, I had two kind of theories. I was gonna let him shoot the shotgun with slugs, which is generally very, very uncomfortable. It's not fun at all. It just kicks really hard. And the theory was let him shoot that so when he goes to his 270, the recoil would be less, he'd be more comfortable. What we ended up doing was starting him out with a 22. It's like a BB gun, essentially. Yeah. And what, yeah, tell him about what? Well, since I started off with the 22, I shot like 50 something rounds with that throughout the day. Super comfortable, um, <clears throat> easy to breathe, just relaxed with it. And um, now that I was relaxed with the 22, I was able to move up back to my Winchester, my 270, and had that same mentality of being comfortable with it, being able to shoot it, and ended up getting great shots. Yeah, we closed out uh, range number one. We've been to two ranges today. Uh, range number one, after he shot all, the, essentially my guns that helped sight that, we closed out to see how he shoots with his at 100 yards and he was I was I was very pleased it was we're good your gun sighted he's learned how to shoot sweet um yeah so what I learned was you know teaching students both theories make sense let them have a high powered gun so when they go to their less powered gun they're more comfortable but the benefit of having him train with a 22 50 rounds is a lot especially if you're shooting like a 270 or 308 that's mm. that's a lot of shooting for a big caliber but He's able to use something that has minimal recoil so he can see everything he's doing wrong, seeing where he flinches, seeing where he tenses up, seeing how his breathing is off. Um, so low recoil, basically, kind of learn how to shoot and what it should look like and should feel like, minus, you know, the impact. Yeah. So when we put him back on his 270, he took two shots, and I was like, let's go. We're done. He was good. Anything all right. else? That's all I can think of. Cool. All right. Uh, seven days. Seven days, and we're gone. Out of town, in trees, in the cold, camp in the woods. Oh yeah. And uh, we'll post plenty of pictures. We still have more training to do, but that's what today was about. Bye.